Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Como les va? Today we're gonna be doing a wear test and review, can you dance? On the new Fenty Beauty eavesdrop stick. So I already did a shorts, but so you guys know, I need to bring you guys the in-depth review. Entonces lo vamos a hacer hoy, y estoy muy emocionada. So let's go ahead and get right into this review because I'm gonna do this full face. I wanna get ready. Vamos. You guys probably have been seeing on shorts. I've been posting a lot of shorts. Watch them if you haven't done so already. Pero yo he estado en Los Angeles. I've been in Los Angeles for a whole like seven to eight days. I just got back home. Um, I did film two videos that I was unable to post before I went on the trip. So those are gonna come up next, um, reviews and stuff. But I wanted to get this up because this is the newest, the latest. So we need to talk about this. Um, I actually got invited to a Fenty Shade Match event in Los Angeles, and I was super excited to go and be one of the first people to try out this product. So I've already been trying it out, um, and I cannot wait to share more about it. It was so much fun. It was so nice learning about the product so that I can give you guys the most in-depth and knowledgeable review that I can. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this. So this does retail for $35, and here you get 0.32 ounces. So I feel like when you look at it like this, because a lot of people are talking about that. They're talking about how much product is in there. So if you look at it like that, it looks like it's that much product, but there's still more under here, if you guys can see that. So it was shade matched to the shade 11. The makeup artist there shade matched me. She was explaining to me about the product. Um, and for shade 11, medium with neutral undertones, so that is the same shade that I go in for the liquid ease drops. So I would just go based off the shade that you are for liquid ease drops. Shade 11 should work for you. Also for the foundation, I fall between 290 and 300. So 290 typically tends to be like more winter shade. 300 tends to be my more summer shade. Go ahead and talk a little bit about this product while I do my skin prep. Wait, actually first let's do the skin prep. So I think for skin prep today, I am going to go ahead and go in with um, sunscreen really quickly. I haven't done that. I'm just gonna be using the Kosa's Dream Beam Sunscreen. This is actually the one that I did take on my trip. I really like this sunscreen because I feel like it does really well with makeup. It is very hydrating. and does kind of leave like a glowy finish, but I personally don't mind that because I feel like it allows for everything to layer really nicely on top. So this new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Stick does not contain sunscreen, so you will have to apply your sunscreen underneath your makeup, which I always recommend anyway for somebody to do. We have the sunscreen on, we're gonna let that do its thing while we talk about the Ease Drop Stick. Okay, so what this is, this is a light coverage long wear tint stick with a creamy smooth texture that instantly blurs while melting into the skin for a natural finish. The coverage of this is light to medium. It is a really nice buildable coverage um, and the finish is natural and this is a cream formulation so this is a crease proof formula and it's all about that blurred smooth second skin finish that resists fading and transferring easy to use um, helps with all dehydration and contains color true pigments that resist oxidation plus this is 100% recyclable so that is all really great things to hear okay so <clears throat> I've worn this product a lot without primer because I feel like this is a perfect like on the go product, super quick, easy, mess free type of situation. So I feel like this is great for every day type of use just based on how it looks like the packaging. But I would say that if you do have oily skin, I would go in with a primer just so that you can make sure that you can lock in any of those oils. Um, so for me, I'm just going to go ahead and do one side with primer. I'm going to take it over here. And I'm just going to kind of lock that into place right there. And do you see, like, even though I do have my sunscreen, which I probably should have done primer and then sunscreen, but I forgot. It's starting to look a little bit more of like a soft matte finish here than here with nothing. So we have that. And you can use whatever primer you like. I like to use the milk one, the poreless one. That one's great. Um, I also really like the Makeup Forever Matte Primer. That's another really good one when you really want to like be locked into place. Um, so we have that right there. And typically for me, the areas where I tend to get very dewy are like the smile lines, the nose, the T-zone. So that's kind of where I go with the product. Okay, so now let's go in with the product and see how this goes um i am going to go ahead and just swipe it on the face so like i said this is a medium with neutral undertones as you said it's a really nice creamy formula really great consistency light coverage but also buildable so one thing you can do with this is you can go in with your fingers and kind of begin to blend it out and just blends out so seamlessly into the skin 
or you can go in with a sponge and further blend that out to kind of make it more of that natural finish. So on this side, I'm just gonna be using my finger and I'm also gonna be using the sponge, which I have right here. Um, just to kind of create that really nice base and you guys can start to see how it covers really nicely but it also matches my complexion really well so we have that i'm going to go ahead and add a little more product so that we can work on this midsection so i'm going to go right here i appreciate how creamy it is and i love that i can just kind of take this i'm going to go for a quick everyday look you guys can see just pressing it into the skin it starts to cover my redness which I really love. I do feel like this product works great with a sponge. Like even though it's a natural light coverage, I still feel like you get that coverage and it just looks very skin like. So for the person who is looking for a very just natural everyday finish, I think you will really like using this product with your fingers. Something I will say guys is that you can go in also with a poreless primer if you feel like you do have enlarged pores. Um, cause I do feel like, you know, this is a skin tint. So just keep that in mind when you are doing your face of makeup. I'm just going to go ahead and you guys can see this is the side with the ease drop stick like that. And then this is the side with nothing. Obviously because we did go in with sunscreen, the sunscreen does offer a little bit of a tint over the rosacea, but you can still see the difference that it makes using the stick and not using anything. And like I said, this does build up really nicely. So if I did want to go in with a little bit more product, because let's say, that I, you know, I'm gonna use this as my like evening out product and I wanna wear a little bit more full coverage. You can go in with that and it just built up very, very beautifully. Como pueden ver. Like that. It just looks really, really nice. It works great with the sunscreen, which I appreciate because sometimes some products just do not work great with sunscreen. Something else that I noticed about this product when they were doing my shade match is that this is a stick, but I feel like sometimes sticks can leave a really like glowy finish, like almost like wet. And as somebody with oily skin, it's like, okay, that's a lot, you know, but this gives a skin like finish. It's not too radiant, but it's not like too matte. It's like that perfect, your skin, but better. It looks natural. It doesn't look too glowy. It doesn't look too matte. It just looks perfect, which I appreciate because it's like makeup products just look super glowy. So we have that on this side. You guys can see look at the difference now i'm gonna go in on this side and i am going to do the brush and we can kind of see i'm going to be taking this real techniques 200 brush yes 200 brush i love this brush i'm going to be using that to go in and just start to cover everything like so you guys can see it's covering the redness as for which one i think gives you more coverage honestly guys i don't see a huge difference in coverage whether you use a sponge or a brush or your fingers i will say i do feel like with a brush you kind of just press it in faster and it just kind of looks like this now this is the side where we did go in with my milk makeup primer the matte poreless primer right here so this one does look a little bit more on like the soft matte natural type of finish this looks a little bit more radiant you can kind of see my pores a little bit more noticeable on this side than using a matte poreless primer so i do think little things like that do make a difference um especially now that i've been using it a few more times and like oh okay this is what works best for me or this is what doesn't work best for me also another thing that i really love and is true to the claims that they're saying right there is that this is true to color so like the pigments in here are really good and they're not going to oxidize because that's another thing i noticed with this you really do get the color in this if you are around my complexion i would definitely recommend the shade 11 i think it's great what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup y luego regreso, i'll come back and give you guys how it looks after applying all that how it works with the products and then we can start this word test because you guys know we're doing the word test we have to so ahorita vengo it's gonna be quick it's gonna be quick and i'll be right back so BRB. Okay, bonitas, I am back. Finished my entire face of makeup. El maquillaje ya está listo. Right now it is 10.06 in the morning. And this is what the face looks like. So I went ahead and did a little bit of cream contour, cream blush. I love how this ease drop stick works with cream blush and cream contour. It works fantastic. So that just looks really nice. It looks very skin-like, 
super beautiful um this is the side where we did go in with primer it does look slightly more it does look a little bit more on the matte side than this side you can definitely see more of my imperfections over here um so this is kind of what it would look like if you do have oily skin and texture on your skin so si pueden ver and then this is when you go in with you know a nice pore filling mattifying primer it does look a little bit better so i personally would say se los recomiendo to use a nice primer to fulfill whatever needs you may have a pore filling primer is always the best because i feel like it does a really good job of minimizing any of those pores because i do feel like sometimes skin tints can accentuate those things i do want to go ahead and do one more thing because this is typically how i would personally do my makeup just on the everyday basis I like to take a pressed powder once I'm done. I've been obsessed with the Reina Rebelde powder. This one right here, I mean, look at that. Hit pan for a reason. This is one is in the shade Almendra. This is the finishing powder. And I just go in with a puff and I apply it in all the areas where I tend to get dewy. And this is further gonna lock everything into place in terms of the shine. And I really just like to do that. And like I said, this is how I, this side is how I would do the makeup with like my everyday routine and i do appreciate that so far the skin tint is working really nicely with that um and i feel like it's really allowing for me to be able to use all the products that i typically love to use on a day-to-day -day basis along with it to complement it um and you can see the difference you know with all the products you love and then just by itself even though I will say for some people, maybe by itself, it'll be amazing. Um, especially if you do have like normal to dry skin or prefer like a little bit of a more luminous finish or perhaps you don't have much texture. For me personally, I have texture from the rosacea. So for me, I do appreciate something that looks a little bit more powdered and more just pressed. But for day to day, this isn't bad at all. Sometimes I like to go out just with the product, especially if I'm running late, I need to just get out the door y vamonos. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how it looks with two different ways of using it. I'm very excited for you guys to see how this does. Like I said, I already did do my shorts review and wear test, but I like to go more in depth, use long form video. So that's why I do these as well. That's what we have going on right here. Um, I'm going to do a natural lighting clip so you guys can see how this looks with the natural light. And then of course, you guys will see me at the end of the day for my final thoughts, letting you guys know how this looks, what I think, how it looks on both sides, all that good stuff. So you don't want to miss this. So keep watching. Okay, bonita. So I am back with the natural lighting. Miren como se ve. Look how it looks. So this is the side with no primer, no setting powder, just the natural skin tint and honestly i think it looks very beautiful se ve muy bonito um obviously you can see a little bit more of my imperfections but just for every day for that natural just very skin like look i think this just looks really nice skin like and you guys can see perfect match to my complexion okay and then this side right here is the side where we did go in with the powder this side does look a little bit less radiant than this side this has a little bit more luminosity this looks a little bit more matte but this side still looks really skin like even though we went in with the primer and the setting powder so even if you do go in with your products i think you'll still get that skin finish and it won't look cakey which i think is a really really great thing so this is the side without primer powder this is the side with primer and powder so yeah okay bonitas i am back it is now 10 19 p.m vamos a hablar sobre este producto let's talk about the ease drop stick so this is the side with no primer you can see the radiance peeking through this is the side with primer and powder i have to say i think it's a little bit better with the side with primer and powder for people that do have oily skin really appreciate the fact that skin tint is still really nicely on the face you guys know skin tints tend to fade super fast but this skin tint does have longevity porque se ve muy bien back on the footage because i've been editing right now Looking back on the footage, I'm like, whoa, like that skin tint really does look like your skin. It looks perfect for every day, but if you want to build it up, you can definitely build it up. I also really love this product for like somebody who may not even like to use this all over their face. They can use this to just do like some spot concealing. You don't have to use this all over your face. Like I just love the practicality of this packaging of this product because I do feel like it offers 
great pigmentation but i also do appreciate the fact that it doesn't look super dewy when you swipe it like it gives you that skin like finish and i think by the end of the day the fact that it looks like this on my complexion and you guys know i do have oily skin i appreciate that it's not super intense it's a little oily but i do feel like if you take the precaution and use a good matte primer a poreless primer i think it's going to work fantastic i personally like this better than the eavesdrop liquid skin tint i think this stick one is fantastic so those are my final thoughts if you guys did enjoy watching this video please give it a big thumbs up it lets me know to continue doing these videos for you guys also let me know your thoughts have you purchased this what do you think get me in some vegan me down below i want to interact with you guys hope you guys have a fabulous day don't forget to stay safe stay blessed and stay beautiful y los veo pronto adios